our beginner taekwondo ranks. Today we're going to be talking about sliding and stepping. When to use one, when to use the other, and then hopefully at the end we're going to be able to do some kicks attached to it as well. So with all that being said, face me, chant, kun ye. Hands behind your back, at ease. So, like I said, sliding and stepping. This is some of the best things that we can do to keep distance from our opponent. One thing that Taekwondo has that a lot of martial arts struggle with is the ability to keep distance. Meaning, I know this person can hit me here, but I know they can't hit me when I'm here. And the best way to control that distance is this sliding motion. That's why if you ever watch the Olympics, they're hopping like this, because they're able to slide faster as they hop. So with all that being said, let's get started. I'm going to be demonstrating most of our techniques today sideways, although you're welcome to do this forward and backwards, you will see me do that on occasion as well. So with that being said, I want you to step back and guard and give me a loud kia. Guarding stance, oh yeah! I'm going to start off sideways so you guys can see my feet better. So, the first thing that I'm going to have you do is practice sliding backwards. So move as close as you can to the front. Now at no point in time do I ever want to put my feet together because if I do, I'm able to get hit, striked, and I'm not going to be able to counter. Not only that, if you're sparring somebody in jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai, they're just going to take your legs out from under you. So I always want my feet apart. So I can slide backwards while maintaining that by stepping with my back foot first. If I use my front foot, my feet will come together. So take your back foot, lift it up, and kind of step really far away. Now push off with your front foot to come back. Do that again, really far away, push. One more time, nice, now reset. Now that's not very uh, practical, right? This isn't good. So do it a couple more times, get used to it. But this is not what our slide is. This is kind of like some short front stances. Now, our slide is more faster and speedy. So as this foot lands, the second it's in the air, my front foot's gonna push up. Notice how I'm kind of lifting up my heel. That helps me slide by pushing with the ball of my foot. So let's try this out slow motion. Step as it's in the air, push with the ball of your foot back. One, go again. Two, go again. Three. Now feel free if you do this, you're welcome to lean back a bit. You're welcome to keep your head forward. Just make sure that you're using your feet to move and you're not doing these like, because then you're gonna fall. Ready? Let's do this three times. Go. One, two, three. Let's try it again. Ready? Go. One, two, three. One more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Nice. Now freeze there. Don't move forward. Now we're going to slide forward with the same motion. My front foot needs to go first. Because if I use my back foot, what's going to happen? My feet are going to come together. So my front foot's going to step. My back foot's going to follow. Now we don't need to do those front stances again. We're going to skip that part and just lift up our heel and push with the ball of our foot. Ready? So lift up your front foot. Slide. One, two, three. Ooh, slide properly back. Go. One, two, three. All right, one more time. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Now back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Back. One, two, three. Nice. All right, so I got a little drill with you. I am your opponent. We are sparring. I'm not going to be kicking, I'm not going to be punching. Your whole goal is just to maintain distance from it. So you don't want to get any farther away, you don't want to get any closer. If you move too far away, then you're not going to be able to strike and it's kind of a, a wash, right? But if you get too close, then I'm going to be able to hit you and you don't want that either. So, I'm here. As I slide forward, you see my body motion going forward, you slide back. As I slide back, you slide forward. Are you ready? Face me. Chariot, kunye. Guarding stance, aya! Let's try this out. Ready? Go! So you slide forward, forward, back, back, forward, back, back, forward, 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 back, forward, back. Nice, all right. Now I'm not gonna help you.
face me. Cheer yet? Kunye. So that's our sliding. Now we're going to talk about our stepping. Now our stepping works on moving our feet a bit differently. Sliding is fast. Stepping is long. It goes a distance. If I slide, you know my foot starts, I'll start with my front foot on the red. I land about here, right? But if I step, I can step a lot further. Now the problem is with stepping is one, it's a little bit more telegraphed. The second my hip comes forward, you know I'm going to step at you, right? Sliding, you don't really know I'm sliding until my front foot is already in position. So it's a bit more telegraphed. Two, it is a bit slower. But it does go a lot longer in distance. This is not too hard to teach because you guys have been doing this for ages. It's literally just walking. Put your hands up in your garden stance. I want you to walk forward while keeping your eyes on the screen. Go again, one, two. Now keep your eyes on the screen and walk backwards. Don't turn away, because if you turn away, you're not going to be able to see your opponent. Again, one, two. Step forward, step back. Demonstrating sideways, forward, back. Forward, back. Nice. All right. Let's play the same game we just did. I step forward, you step back. I step back, you step forward. Ready? And go. Step back. Step back. Step forward. Step forward. Step forward. I know I'm wearing black pants, so it's harder to see. But if you guys want to get a little bit of a head start, look at my hips when I step. Step back. See how my hips have to turn first? Step back. Step forward, step forward, step forward, step back, step back, step back. Now all by yourself. Face me. Period. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, okay. So I got one more thing for us today. We're going to add a kick onto it. Now, adding a kick. Um, doesn't seem too hard uh, because we already kind of do it, right? We do a slide up side kick. You're right, you slide to kick. That's a slide up kick. On your stepping, you've done a step kick before. You take your back foot, you kick and step forward, right? So we're just going to take those principles and just apply them more in a sparring sense. I'm not going to worry about kicking and returning or sliding back and kicking or kick and then slide. All we're going to work on is the sliding forward and kick. I'm going to take it nice and slow, and we're going to go through. So first, face me, hands on your side, guarding stance, I am. Let's first take a step and try our slide up front kick. So my front foot comes, my back foot follows. Now to do a kick, slides are fast, right? So I want to use my closest leg so I can go faster. My farther leg is going to take more time. There's more distance between that and my target. Try it again. One step, slide, kick. If you feel like you want to get more distance, replace your foot. So as this foot comes forward, take this other foot, switch and bring it up. So my feet are never together, but I'm still able to slide. Let's do this five times. Ready? Go. Easy way. One. Go back. Easy way again. Go. Two. You want to do the hard way. Try it out. Go. Three. Go. Four. Go. Five. Nice. All right, all right. So now let's try our other leg. Same thing. So easy way. Do your slide like you've learned. Lift your foot up and kick. Hard way. Slide your back foot more. Lift your foot up at the same time. Five times I'll let you choose whether you want to go easy or hard. Ready? Go. One. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Go. Five. Nice. All right, so we only got one more thing today. That's the kick in our uh, kick and step. I'm going to use my back leg to kick. Then all I'm going to do is just step forward. This is great for if somebody is uh, somebody likes to charge right and then back off. Somebody who likes to rush in, throw a couple punches, and then runs away. So when you start to see them coming at you like this, you kick, and then as they start to move away, you can continue to move forward. 
so you don't stop your movement after your kick. Try this out, back leg, front kick, step. Try it with your other leg, go, step. That's one, we're gonna do this five times, ready? Go, kick, step forward, kick, step forward. That's two, not bad, okay, okay, let's speed it up. Ready, go, one, two, three, okay. Ready, go. Four, and final times, hop in place. Ready, and go. Aya, aya. Nice, facing. Chariot, bring in. At ease, relaxed position. Thank you guys for being here today. We're gonna to be going through several different things. Uh, we're gonna be going through uh, uh, several different things next week. We're gonna be going through our back kick. We're also gonna be working on combining it with some punches. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I would love to see you guys there. Otherwise than that, thank you guys for being with me in class today. Let's end it on a bank. I'm gonna say, what's our goal? You're gonna repeat after me, black belt, excellent sir. And then you're welcome to give me a high five. Ready? What's our goal? Black belt, excellent sir. You are free to go. Have a great rest of your day.